cruise ship doctor in my day. They used to be known. You know what a cruise ship doctor was? They were the guys that either got dis disbarred because they were drunks, so they cut the wrong artery, or they raped someone while touching them inappropriately. They all took a job on a cruise ship. They looked good. I mean, the hair was cut right, you know, the mustache, very dignified, Dr. Ben Casey. But they took cruise ship jobs because they... Obama's like a cruise ship doctor as a president. It's where he belongs, running a cruise ship as an entertainer. Him and Samuel L. Jackson Jr. can do a, a duet. Uh, roughly 40 percent. Here's some comeuppance that I like. Al Sharpton, who's probably the next worst person in the history of America next to uh, George Soros, is calling on Ram Emanuel to step down as Chicago mayor. You hear? Look at this. He's telling uh, these guys are like one in the same gang. It's like all Al Capone's gang here. Al Sharpton is calling on Ram Emanuel to step down as Chicago mayor. This is unbelievable. It's like the lieutenant steps up and tells the capo to, that he should step down. Are you kidding me? When is Al Sharpton going to finally overstep his, uh, his uh, power structure, I wonder? He's going beyond the point where he can govern with the trust of the people. He knows about the trust of the people, Al Sharpton. <laughs> I've never seen this kind of detachment in the years that I've been fighting. Whether I get along with the mayor or not, Sharpton said, yeah, he's fighting. He's fighting for the rights of black people, sure. Another one, another great hero of his people. What's this now? What's this? New York loses $400 million after imposing the nation's highest cigarette tax. Really? I don't care about that. New York raised taxes on cigarettes to 435 in 2010 from 270. Why do I care? They're idiots, liberals. You want to smoke, smoke yourself to death. That's your business. No taxes on it. Let them smoke themselves to death. What do I care if you smoke? What's my problem? Just no smoke in a restaurant. And leave it and leave me out of it. That's all. It's your right. I don't care about smoking. My issue. Salt. Why don't you ban uh, Kool Aid? There's too much sugar in it. Next, or we'll ban the uh, ice ban ice cream. See, you never heard anyone who all the screaming about too much salt, Mayor Bloomberg, too much sugar, too much caffeine. Not one word about ice cream. Ice cream has done more damage to the human body than caffeine has ever done. But because ice cream is controlled by the liberal mafia. See, that's funny. There's no such thing as a liberal mafia. We know that. The, 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 the words are incompatible. Yeah, right. <laughs> What's this now? I am proud that he had no victims. Mother of Paris attacker speaks out amid newly released information. The mother, you know what I would do with the mother? Huh. Fatima? Mother, the, the Belgian, uh, the mother of Bilal Hadifi? Never worked a day in her life. Sits and spits at the Belgians around her who pay her welfare. Blech. They sit in the window, the holy ones. Look at that garbage out there. Look at the dress she's wearing. Look at her showing her legs. Look, you can see her bosom. Ugh, ugh. Look at her garbage. Look how filthy Paris. Ugh, 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 ugh. All the Fatima. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Sit in the window, cursing all the Western women for wearing short skirts and having a decent life. Ugh, ugh, ugh. She said, wear what I wear, covering the head to toe like I am. Sit in the window. Cursing the white people walking around. Hate Belgium. Did the Veltkwer come in? Did the Czech come in? Did the Belgian Czech come in? Look at another one goes by. Look. Look. Look down there. Look down the street. May I curse her for that? <laughs> you think I don't know? You think this little parody is false, don't you? You know it's not false. You know what goes on behind closed doors. Yeah, moderate. Yeah, moderate. Yeah, yeah, just moderate. 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 I'm waiting for the fundamentalist Christians to rise up. I think we our problem is we have too many moderate Christians. <laughs> I'm not worried so much about the immoderate Muslims, who you call radical Muslims, to be politically correct. You say. Radical Islam. You know, you, it's like you got to watch out like what word you use correctly. My, I think our problem in the West is we have too many moderate Christians. <laughs> That's an interesting way of looking at Robin, isn't it? I mean, moderate Christianity is what's destroying us. Oh, yeah, accept everybody. They all love us. Turn the other cheek. Yeah, right. It's just cowardice. That's all. It's not even Christianity. It's cowardice. You don't have to confront the problem. That's all. Look the other way. All right, Mike, what would you like us to do? Well, I'm not in charge, so it's not your business. 
What's up now with on uh, Fox News? I have the screen on. I, I watch it to mock it. I watch it to mock it, like the outfits, the head. How do they put up with themselves every day? I can't imagine if I were. I'm going to do it like a day in the life of a Fox News girl. Get up. You know, last night, they're up to 5 in the morning using illicit substance. Okay, up in the morning. Oh, God, what time? Oh, my head on me. Good God. What? Oh, God, look how I look. It's only five hours to show. Imagine you have to put yourself together from what you did the night before, if you're a Fox News girl, what you look like when you first get up, what you look like to yourself in the mirror, to when you go on the screen, bubbly, shiny, white teeth, nice, silky hair. I can't imagine how hard that is. The beauty is in the radio, I can basically work in the same clothing I sleep in. <laughs> but I don't. I mean, I don't do that. Robert will attest that he sees me on Skype. He did see me this morning. I looked like a mad Einstein came out of the bedroom into the studio in the house. As I got out of bathrobe on, I was so anxious to see if the show would work. I didn't even bother, like, with the niceties of, of calling him. I didn't even get coffee, nothing. And I was up late last night at a Japanese restaurant. <clears throat> I said I could put a robe on anyway. I had to remember how to put a robe on because of the Skype. I think we should throw the Skype out so I don't even have to put a robe on. I could do the show in pajamas next time. Thank God everything worked, except the fax machine and except the computer, which gives me the stories of the day. Other than that, we're batting a 1,000 on, <laughs> on the Savage Nation. Back in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800 B U I C O. It is. Savage. I've not taken a call yet on this December 28th of 2015, the first time in my radio career. It's two and a half hours into the show, not one call. I'm running on pure joy, joyous energy, joy to the world that I'm still living and I have the energy and the brains and the guts to get up here every day, put myself out there like this for America. Yeah. Let's hear it for old Mike. I have to pat myself on the back. Why, you're going to do it for me. Well, I'm going to get some something from somebody in the world that says, good job, Mike. If every one of us spoke out the way I do, even to like one-tenth of what I do, we could win this war. If we could demand that we could get rid of Obama, he'd be impeached, he'd be thrown out for what he is. The hatred coming from the radical left would stop. Then we could take on the radical Muslims. That's what needs to be done. It has to start with us. It's that simple. It'll happen. No matter what you may think, it's going to happen. Because right now we're losing and they're winning because of liberalism, which has crippled the country, and a double agent who's running the country. When I say double agent, I don't have to spell it out for you. I don't care whether he uh, is a secret admirer or works with him. It doesn't matter to me. He may as well work with the ISIS for all of the good it does us since he hasn't killed them yet. You see these con convoys of trucks they stole from the Iraqi army, and we haven't blown them up? Why? Because Obama and Valerie Jarrett and whoever else is running the show wanted this army of ISIS to take down Assad. And it blew up in their face. And George Soros funded it. That's what. It's all in my book, Government Zero. <clears throat> Verified, documented, my opinion. KSFO Bill, welcome. First call of 50 seconds, fire away. I'm a 68-year-old Vietnam veteran, Michael. My father was in World War II with George Patton, old blood and guts in Europe. He was a half-track commander. When I was a little boy, on Sundays we used to watch old combat footage on a show called The 20th Century. I watched one episode where I sat on the old man's lap and looked as American tanks rolled down the road, and there was an old, old woman kneeling in the mud beside the road. It's the Savage Nation, live from Beverly Thrills, California. First show in a brand new studio. Took only one caller so far. I mean, it should be an off week, supposed to relax, Hillary Clinton pushing the grandchild. How, how grandmotherly that is. Just what America needs. The first family again, like we don't know who they are. Look at that, look at that nice gray-haired guy behind the daughter. Who's that? Who's that, who's that behind the daughter with the baby? Look at that. Oh, I seem to recognize him. Isn't he the guy who molested women in the in the White House? Now he's a grandfather. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We can't wait to have him back again. Imagine if she were president, what he'd be doing in the ante room? 
<laughs> Could you imagine? Actually, I didn't even run this through my head. I mean, you know, he hasn't changed his ways. Uh, a leopard doesn't change his spots, right? So let's just run that fantasy. Hillary wins. He's there in the White House. What do you think he's going to do while she's busy ruining the world? <laughs> think about that. There's thousands of women left yet. Thousands of Monica Lewinsky's are waiting in the wings. I mean, he's pushing the carriage there behind the door now. Secret Service guy with the phone. Who's that husband? What a dorky-looking husband she got. Where'd they get that one from? Uh, he had the money, I think. So he had the gelt. They pulled in the, the money. The money got for the family. Well, they have plenty themselves now. They started out dirt poor. They did very well in office. That's shocking to me, isn't it? How they get so rich in office, all these public servants. Pelosi's fortune went up about a 1,000 times. Boxes went up about 10,000 times. Feinstein's went up about a million times. They're all public servants. Ugh. God, looking at the headlines, there's nothing I want to talk about. White House to host Trudeau for state dinner. Trudeau is, and we're not talking about the cartoonist, the commie cartoonist. We're talking about the ballerina, the ballet dancer, who's now the premier, prime minister of Canada. A sicker one you couldn't find. A nuttier one they couldn't have gotten in Canada. What are they thinking in Canada? I like Canada. My mother was Canadian by birth. I always had fond memories of Montreal. But now I was afraid to go there with this idiot running the country. Right? He wants to bring in Syrian refugees, moron. Just what Canada needs. I don't know how the brave men of a country permit such rats, vermin, left-wing garbage to do this to their nation without any checks and balances. I don't understand this. I don't understand how this goes on and on when we know what they're doing to us. Say, oh, what's going to happen? How about what has already happened? Do I have to go down the list? San Bernardino, a Boston Marathon bombing. I know from the inside. The, by the way, there have been many, many, many Muslims stopped from terrorist acts. Many. They don't tell you about it. I like them to list them. They should show pictures of all of them. Then your hair would stand up. You see how many moderate Muslims there are in the country. If you actually knew how many have been in... You know, I love that they say, oh, we've stopped so many. We've done such a good job. Department of Homeland Security did this. FBI did that. Well, guess what? They have done a pretty good job so far. Pretty good job. They ought to show their pictures like the most captured. Take a look at all of the Ahmeds on that list. They won't even show it to you. They'd be afraid there'd be a revolution in the country. If they showed you the hundred of them that they caught who were going to blow your daughter's uh, nursery school up, the people would, would riot in this country. They wouldn't buy this garbage put out by the left wing. Not one second would they take it. The people be running like, okay, stop it. Christmas week. I was actually be closed for the week because I was off going to a new, you know, like family. They said, take the whole week off, Mike. We'll get fill ins, best ofs, jingle bells. We'll play just Christmas music. I said, why should I do that? The people need, the people need me. They're hanging on, 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 on by a thread, most of them, of what's going on in this crazy world. With the psycho in Hawaii, I, I thought I was sleeping better that the psycho was there in Hawaii. But no, he's still trying to do things. Couldn't take a week off from it. Remember, he still has a Blackberry to do everything he can to undermine the nation. How hard is it from Coco Head to sit there on a cliff? He said, we have speeches of his, by the way. It's awful. Obama to Marines on Christmas, working out with you guys makes me feel small. If I played some of this Obama stuff, you really, it's nauseating. You just listen to this. How did we wind up like this? That such a fraud, America hater, could wind up in the White House and stay there so long. Listen to clip number five. Listen to this. For those of you who Listen. are with your families, uh, that is a true blessing. For those of you who are still a little blessing. bit far away from home, uh, we hope you had a chance to give them you know, our best and, and let them know that we love them as well. Uh, Michelle oh. and I are looking forward to taking pictures with all of you. And we see a couple of new babies this time. You know, we, we, we always uh, get our baby fix and, and, uh, when, uh, when we take these photos. Does he nauseate you like he does me? I actually get a feeling of nausea. Every time this phony, America-hating creature speaks, my stomach churns. I don't, it's a visceral reaction. People say to me, how do you get so worked up? How can I not get worked up? This is what I do for a living. My stomach literally just churned. The whole corned beef sandwich overturned. We're, we're over, we're turned over. Listening to this phony, this phony, we get our baby fix. Michelle and I looking forward to taking pictures with all of you. Who on earth would want a picture with him and Michelle in it? 
sickening.